Hello. Hi. 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 Hello. Hi. Hello. This content may be inappropriate for children. So yeah, cover your eyes, kids. Oh. That kind of sounds like nonsense, though. I don't think Valkyria Chronicles is really like inappropriate for children. Did you say oh. Valkyria Chronicles? Yes, 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 yes. They just randomly announced a sequel, a new sequel, to the Valkyria Chronicles series, which is not Val- Valkyria Revolution, which is a game released a couple of uh, months ago set in the same franchise, but more of a weird spin-off, and it looks to be really, really, really bad. But this is a new, actual, proper one. Yes! Do you remember uh, what you were doing exactly three years ago, Raman? Um, no, I don't. You were most likely playing Valkyria Chronicles 1 on PC. It was released oh, three years ago. Right. Oh, okay. Man, it's been that long. Which makes me think, is that the reason why this is being made at all? Because uh, they randomly made that port. The port sold one million copies on PC, which is pretty good, especially considering the game was pretty old by that point. Like, the game is uh, is nine years old, the, the, the original game on, on PS3. Mm. And apparently mm. the... Um, uh, I think I read that the original game between PS3 and PS4 sold a total of 1.5 million. So one million on PC as a late port. Pretty darn good. Wow. So I'm wondering if that's, if that's uh, basically the sole reason why they're making this. They, they did mention that they started uh, developing uh, this a little under two years ago. I think they said that they um, they made the PS4 port of the of, of VC1, VC1 and then they started making uh, this, Valkyrie Chronicles 4. Nice. Two solid years of work. And yet, like, judging by from this part of the video, like they've already been working with overseas teams potentially of localization. Uh, yes, there was actually a post by a guy from Atlas saying that uh, they're doing the English dubbing right now. Oh, right. Atlas owns Sega. I forget about that. Coming 2018. Speaking of 2018, it'll be released in March 2018 in uh, in Japan. For, for the PS4 version. We don't know um, other release uh, schedules for other versions or in other regions. And speaking yes, of uh, versions, yeah. they've announced Xbox One, PS4, and Switch. No PC. Even though PC might be the reason why this exi- why this exists at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a, there's a dog. There's a dog right there. There's a dog. There's a dog. Yeah, it's a very cute looking dog. But yeah, yes. like uh, this looks like Valkyrie Chronicles. It looks like the same art style. Yes, very good. Which which I'm okay with. Like it doesn't even. I, I don't get the impression like the um, graphics look that much better than the original. But but I'm but I'm but I'm fine with it. Like the art style just looked really good. I was. I thought uh, Valkyria Revolution had, like, uh, I think they tried to evolve their art style in that game, and they just, I don't i don't think it worked out at all. But this, it, but it just works. It looks really good. It looks good. So good. And uh, it's a whole new uh, set of characters. It's set around the same, uh, same time uh, period. Apparently this will uh, be set in, um, in some kind of uh, eastern uh, front where it's very snowy. It sounds like most of the game will take uh, in place with snow and stuff. And I just want to point this out. I, 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 just, want to, I just want to point this out. <laughs> I just want to point this out. So this guy, he's, he's like drawn like this cute little fire on, on his tank. And he, he dyed parts of it kind of like pinkish purple. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I should laugh or be really amazed by this guy. I don't, I don't know. Well, we get a closer look at him later in the trailer. I, I want to say actually he's driving a different tank later in the trailer, hmm. and this is the main character dude person. I, I imagine the snow is going to have some sort of effect on gameplay when oh, the yeah. game returns. I heard, heard uh, noticed someone mentioned that uh, the first one had uh, airs with sandstorms. Maybe they will be like similar snowstorm element for this game. Oh yeah, I remember those missions. And tank drifting maybe. Yeah, that's the guy. <laughs> was that the same tank? I couldn't really tell. Let's investigate. <laughs> this is important. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, like, like these parts are, like, purplish. Yeah, there's the flames. Yeah, 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 it's the same tank. Okay, okay, mystery resolved. And he's like, yeah, <laughs> I'm manly. So, 
so yeah, I um, it, the first game was really good. <laughs> yeah, like it, it was it was very much a niche title, but it's really cool to see it actually finally get the sequel. Like there's nothing really out it like uh, like this. Like the game had pretty unique uh, gameplay. So it's super exciting to see them make a new one. Hell, it's about time. They made two sequels back in the day, specifically only for PSP, Valkyrie Chronicles 2 and 3. Which means we didn't play them. Uh, Yeah, well, they were never localized either. They were only released in Japan. Uh, Two was localized, but not three. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't know that. Um, and they also mentioned in an interview that two and three was very much uh, designed for an for a uh, a Japanese audience in mind. Like two had was in a school setting, three had more fantasy elements. But but with this one, they want more of a world war, worldwide appeal. So they're going back to the roots with Valkyrie Chronicles one when it comes to like feel and style for the game. Good, very good. Because like be, getting to play two and three might have been neat, but it did it, it did seem like it took some wrong turns. <laughs> what is missing right here, Ryman? Can you tell uh, me, Ryman? Tell either, me. either PC DVD ROM or the Steam logo. One of those two. <laughs> 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 yeah, I, I think. Yeah, like Switch got on there ahead of PC. Like what? And and Xbox, like the the franchise has never been on a Microsoft or Nintendo platform before, but now all of a sudden they get top billing alongside PS4. Uh, I yeah, I don't, I don't get it. I heard heard someone say that usually uh, Sega games they usually make a game first in Japan and then a PC version. They would they would let Sega Europe handle that. So we if if they make one, we would expect it after the console versions. So if that's the case. Then hopefully they'll be smart and at least eventually port it to PC. If I recall, wasn't it like a, a pretty small team that did the PC port back in the day? I want to say in the credits, only two people were credited for the PC version. If I recall, wow, that oh, definitely and I, really seems like a low amount of people. I think I also remember reading that the same people who did the Valkyria Chronicles port would later went on to do the uh, recent port of Vanquish to PC, huh. which, which was received pretty well. After a patch or two, did they also do the Bayonetta port? I I don't know if the same people that did the Valkyrie Chronicles and Vanquish ports did the Bayonetta port. Hmm. Uh, either way, um, except for the whole uh, 60 FPS thing with gunfire, the PC port was pretty good for for Valkyrie oh, Chronicles one. Yeah, I forgot about that. Wasn't it? There was an issue with the tank as well. Uh, oh yeah, the uh, I think with slope terrain, the tank would be super slow. Hmm. So yeah, this is one of the few in-game screenshots we have of gameplay, and UI and HUD, pretty darn similar. Yep. So it, it kind of sounds like the gameplay will be super similar to the first one, which I'm okay with. Because, as I said, like basically nothing else played played like it, and, and it played really well. Well, since we're talking about the gameplay now, um, what uh, can you think of anything that they should fix from the first game? Look at those graphics, wow. <laughs> um, There's not much left of the graphics. I can remember scouts could be kind of used to cheese a lot of missions because oh. of their insane movement length, I think. Like, they yeah. can move super far. Yeah, yeah. So I imagine, like, balancing that would be good. I, I did read that uh, apparently they're introducing some elements which were added in 2 and 3. I think one or two classes which were added to those games, but I'm not really familiar. Something about a grenadier class. Ooh. I like explosions. Dialogue. Wow. Yes, there was a lot of that. Okay, I've just added a bunch of pictures. I can't remember what is what. Oh yeah, this is. Um, this might I seem have... slightly out of place for. It's, a, uh, it's the first game. Yeah, but but this is something they released um, yesterday. So um, this is related to a pre-order bonus, I think. Oh. Okay, okay. So they're releasing some kind of like collector's edition version of the game which includes a soundtrack CD and art book and it also in it also includes DLC featuring the characters you see here oh what really yeah there will be one DLC mission where you play as the original squad from the first game and okay, uh, I mean... <laughs> and uh, and when you own this DLC you can also use these characters in the main game as, as like guest characters so in <laughs> so in 
And on a similar note, uh, for the Japanese version, uh, there's a pre-order bonus where you play as... Uh, you get a special mission featuring Eddie from VS1. I think that's a... I, I think it's pronounced E.D., but yeah. E.D. I, I want to say that she also had DLC mission for the first game. She did. And I'm, I'm not quite sure why she's so popular, but yeah, she had her own mission. Yeah, and uh, same as this, if you own that DLC, you will get you can also use E.D. in the main game as a guest character. Okay. Uh, you also get a PS4 theme if you pre-order the game and an in-game tank sticker. <laughs> and, and someone mentioned that tank stickers was a mechanic in VEC 2 and 3 which added very small bonuses to your tank. Oh wait, so it's like the trophy stickers in Smash Brothers? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, dear. That's the main character dude again, looking very angry. I guess if we don't have names yet for the characters. Uh, I think we do, but I didn't. I didn't write them down anywhere. No. And this is one of the pre-order bonuses in Japan. I think you get this when you pre-order from Amazon. I can't remember. I don't. I think this is some kind of like printed thing you get. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I think I took screenshots of all the other things. As pre-order things. Yeah. This is another one. Very exciting. I don't even know Sample. what I'm looking at. You also get oh. the waifu as a pre-order bonus oh, if you pre-order somewhere it. else. Oh, and you get uh, Edinburgh. Navy. What? That's a pretty thing. For, if you put it from another place. What is this? And uh, more waifus. Oh. oh, God. And uh, more waifus. That... Oh, oh, that's a cat as well. Look at the cat. <laughs> yes, look at the cat. And uh, more waifus. What is going on? Oh, and a chef. I like that one. <laughs> but yeah, these are just rather pretty stuff if you put it from various places in Japan. I don't know. God. God that's so much that's more fan service than I was expecting. Uh, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I don't know, but, well, Japan, I guess. I guess. And this is, again, the main character. Hi, main character. Very I'm wintry Ryman. clothing. I'm Ryman, how are you? He's prepared to walk on ice. Oh, yeah. He's got the sleeves. And this is the uh, female male character. <laughs> what? Could you repeat that sentence? Uh, the female male character, not male. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so uh, one thing which worries me a little bit is that so like when I see this uh, main uh, male character, I kind of feel yeah he kind of reminds me of the main from VC One and this girl, the main female character, not main uh, male character, kind of reminds me of what's her name, Alicia in VC One. Yeah, I I hope they're just uh, not trying to like replicate the same squad with the same characters and similar personalities or something like. Well, hang on. I mean, there's, there's this massive contraption on her back. Oh, yeah, I guess that's a major difference. Like, uh, Alicia in VC1 was a uh, scout, not a uh, whatever she is. I think this might be the new Grenadier class, actually. Oh, okay. Maybe. Say, so maybe she won't be super OP and broken like Alicia was in the first game. Because <laughs> she, was she wasn't just a scout. She was the best scout. Yeah. More uh, artwork for the game. Definitely seems like snow is the big theme for this game. Oh, yeah, and certainly does. Oh, that's that's a logo. That's the name of the game, if, in case people were very, very confused. When I saw that four, I was like, yes! <laughs> and yes, it is trademarked, in case you're wondering. You can't have it. <laughs> yeah, I was I was super surprised and baffled they, they announced this game. I did not expect this game to be announced, especially after Valkyria Revolution, which is, I felt like, pretty much killed the series yep. and there's a uh, picture of the main squad in the game uh, I, I want to point out one thing mm -hmm. this guy right uh, he's either a really bad squad mate or he's a traitor the reason is this mm. his aiming yeah, he... has gone at the squad leader this well, maybe maybe the safety zone. Oh, 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 let's talk about the safety thing, Ryman. He's ready to fire. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, there also, we go. I don't think the machine guns in the first game had drum mags. No, I don't think so either. Um, also, yeah, the, the, there is the dog who's carrying he's a, a healer. A, he's carrying some sort of ragnite thing around his neck. I kind of. 
the resource, the Ragnite. Uh, didn't the healers like hold up one of these thingies when healing squad mates? Hmm. I'm kind of pondering right. if this might be the healer and if you actually use him as a healer in game. Or maybe maybe he's the guy who uh, who appears when you when you get the down squad mate and you manage to run up to them to like bring them back to camp. Woof. Uh it will be doom. Or maybe it will be done. Because we can't see the any, maybe. Or all right. All right, so this this lady here. The hat. We have to talk about the hat. Oh yeah, the hat. Like it has pointy ears for reasons that we don't know. Uh someone actually pointed out in the art book for the first game, uh there was an early design for one of the characters, which was a sniper, and she had actual cat ears, like actual cat ears. Oh, so maybe a weird reference to the old design? I don't know. Maybe. Also, uh, we have to talk a little bit more about this character. It's very important. Okay. Uh, let's uh, quickly go through this. This is, this is so important, Ryman. Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't talk about this earlier. Oh, dear. I just need to figure out when this is. I can't imagine. It is so important, Ryman. Uh, it should be any time now. Hope I didn't skip over it. I might have... God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's, I mean, she's not actually in that many scenes in this trailer. Yeah, but this one short scene I want to get to. I can't remember where it is in the trailer. Okay, I, I, actually, I'll just let the trailer play normally <laughs> while I've talked about other stuff. Because there's even more tidbits to mention there. So, okay. uh, um... Uh, Hitoshi Sugimoto is going to be the composer for the game. He also composed the music for, I think, for 1, 2, and 3. For all of them. Well, that's good. The music in 1 was very good. Yeah, yeah. It was very good music. So that is good news. And the director of VC1 is now senior director on this game. I'm not completely sure what senior director means, but hopefully that's a good thing. Hmm. Yeah, and no. I'm kind of sad they fixed this, but uh, so Nintendo had their own upload of the trailer with <laughs> some really bad narration, which just sounded like a random employee using a bad microphone. It sounds super placeholder, but they but they fixed it, which was kind of sad because it was kind of funny. I found. <laughs> um, let's see any other notes. Actually, I think that's all the notes I wrote down. So now I kind of really want to see this scene. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's the, that's a pretty well... tank. So one thing I'm curious about, like the game is coming to the Switch. Yeah. Will I wonder if the game will use the touchscreen in portable mode? Like not exclusively, just as an option when you're playing in portable mode. It would make sense for the map screen, right? It would. That's why it came to mind. Like choosing units and stuff like that. Yeah. Maybe I just can't find this in again. It's gonna make me so sad. I can only think... Yeah, this is the only other scene I can think of that she's in it. No, there's another one. There's not another version of the trailer, right? I don't think so. Hmm. Uh, do you have any other things to mention about this while we look out for this uh, moment in the trailer? Um, just, well, much like yourself, I want a PC version. Sega, uh, yes, yes, yes. I, 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 think I'll, I think I'll just... I think I'll just wait for the PC version. Yeah, like one thing that the port of the first game proved beyond a doubt. Oh, is, it, is that the scene? Is that the scene? Pay close attention. <laughs> close attention. Close attention. What is he doing? <laughs> oh, is it a bolt action rifle? <laughs> yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's all. That's all. <laughs> that's all. Let's watch that in slow motion. <laughs> you and your bolt action right wow now. so impressive <laughs> okay that's it but yeah, like all i was gonna say was one thing that the port of the first game to pc proved beyond a show is, is that this art style scales up really well when you yeah. increase the resolution like incredibly well and i can actually talk about that in this screenshot this is one of the screenshots they released which is in 4k so uh, let's Ooh. look at it closer. So the thing is, it's a 4K, official 4K screenshot, but like you can tell 
upscaled pixels on this fence, for instance, and also looks like on this wall. So it looks like it's, I don't think it's rendering even close to 4K. Again, like PC version, PC version. And so, not, hmm? so you said they're releasing the PS4 version first in Japan? Yes. So, or at least that's the only known release date of the Japanese PS4 version, which is uh, late March. Because that's another thing we have to take into account. We live in a post PS4 Pro and Xbox One Scorpio world, so that means this game will likely receive enhancements when played on those systems. Oh yeah, and maybe, maybe that's why that screenshot is 4K, and maybe it's a PS4 Pro's first shot. Um, um this is another screenshot, also. Mm. Uh, 4K well, that and much, hmm? that looks much higher res, yeah. It, it still doesn't look like uh, it's it's native uh, 4K. That like look at these lines here, for instance, they 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 look upscaled. But either way, with the UI and everything, like this just looks like the PC One UI and HUD, which is so okay with me. Yeah. Um. Oh, on, oh, hmm? like this is the main female character and. Yeah, her loader. She's got grenades. Uh, yeah, this is a very weird uh, rifle, and uh, yeah. very weird bullets for a rifle. <laughs> yeah, it's like the the guns on her back, and she's carrying a pack of grenades. Yeah, I have no idea what she does. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess she'd have to like go through a deploy animation and then fire. That, that seems. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Another thing I was going to mention. Another thing about the PC version is that, I mean, I hope they would make the console version 60fps, but I doubt it, and that would be another reason to play the PC version. I like 60fps and above. Well, again, like, we don't know what their PS4 Pro implementation is, but I, I guess the fact that the trailer they released is 30 doesn't inspire much confidence in that front. Yeah. And just for the sake of uh, comparison, there's a couple of shots of the PS4 version, and this is what VC1 looked like on PC. So the PC version made everything look pretty darn uh, sharp, but you can tell like the environment and everything looks a little bit drab compared to what mm. they have in the new one. The thing is, the first game, that was a pretty early PS3 release, wasn't it? It was very early, uh, t uh, 2008, if I recall. Yeah, so, and of course, uh, developers were struggling to make the most of the PS3 hardware, so that might have contributed to some of that. But they still did a good job, regardless. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the thing is, like, uh, I, I think I can definitely tell that, like, the uh, like the poly count definitely looks high in the new game. But it doesn't look that different. Like, the art style just looks identical, and it actually really, really holds up. Yeah. Even though it's all the way from two thousand eight. Why didn't this game sell better back then? Yeah, <laughs> I have no idea. Oh well. I, I mean, the only reason I can assume is the like the genre is perhaps a bit niche. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I guess when you really think about it, there there is that reason. I mean, it's it's very it's kind of slow paced, and I don't think strategy games are all that popular overall. But yeah, this is uh, this is great news. news. And one other tiny tidbit. I mean, this won't be a huge surprise, but they have announced the new game will be single player only. Ah, okay. They did actually have multiplayer for the uh, PSP games, VC 2 and 3. Oh, okay. I could kind of see multiplayer working well with this uh, with this uh, combat system, so I think it would be interesting for a future game if they make even more. With, which they should, make more games. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like it's turn-based, so you could maybe make it work. Yeah, yeah. I think it would be interesting. Hopefully more balanced than like the um, XCOM reboot multiplayer, which was mm. kind of a mess. Like, I, f I feel like uh, this game has more of a refined core balance to it, so like that might help for multiplayer reasons. Okay. Um, I think that might be it for talking about this game. But I am super excited. Like, I think this is easily the biggest announcement for me so far this year. It's pretty big news, yeah. I think the uh, other announcement I care about so far this year was Spelunky 2. That was pretty uh, pretty big for me. Yeah, that, again, it just came out of nowhere at the beginning of the Paris Games Week show at Sony. It wasn't even part of the main show, was it? No, it was the last announcement during the pre-show. 
And and same thing with this. That like this wasn't part of any big show. It just was announced randomly. Hmm. The thing about Splunky too is doubly surprising because well. Uh, the, the guy behind Splunky is also working on another project right now. Uh, yeah, I think I've heard about that. Um, I can briefly mention that in around two and a half weeks, there is Video Game Awards and uh, PlayStation Experience, so we might expect some big announcement from that. Yeah, and uh, surely we should be due some Korean Black Desert news before the end of the year. Yeah. Okay, I'll just, I'll just mention this. I hate, I hate rumors. Oh, <laughs> but I'll just mention this a little bit. Okay, I'll I'll mention the rumors which are most oh. likely to be true. Okay, very okay. quickly. So, uh, have you heard about Paul Saint Peter? No. Have you heard of Maximilian Dude? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I watch his stuff. So he met up with Paul St. Peter, I think at Comic-Con this year. Paul, Paul St. Peter is the guy doing the announcer for Soul Calibur games. Oh, okay. And apparently he just randomly told Maximilian Dude, yeah, I just finished recording the voices, the announcer voices for Soul Calibur 6. Oh, what? <laughs> Yeah, and yeah, and Maximilian, dude, is not the type of person to lie about something like this, right? I, I mean, he he is a very well known figure in like the fighting game community, just in general. So yeah, yeah I don't think so. so. So I'm hoping there's some truth to that. There's some other rumors about Soul Calibur Six as well, but I think they're less likely to be true than the Maximilian dude thing. Yeah, and there's another thing I want to briefly mention, which is that I think also at Comic Con. Well, I'm not completely sure, but either way, um. Uh, the guy who uh, played Nero in DMC4, I, f- I forget his name. Johnny Young Bosch. Yes, that's a weird name. He had a presentation where he babbled on stage, stage and one fan asked him, can you say say anything about DMC5? Is that upcoming? And he just made this really weird face and then this like uh, <laughs> moderator or guy in the background just just like quickly asked him to just move on and on to the next, next question. Like, that reaction Nero had was kind of suspicious. Yes, very suspicious. And that makes Very exciting, hopeful. potentially, too. I mean, we, we still don't know what Itsuno has been doing the last few years, and I would be okay with DMC5. Yeah. I would be okay with it. I'd also take Dragon Sigma 2, but to be honest, like, either or would be completely fine with me. Yep. So fine with me. And, hmm... It might be about time for another big Capcom announcement because, like, we have a final lockdown release date for Monster Hunter World. It's coming out in January. Besides then, that, are there any big upcoming games for Capcom? I'm not sure. Well, I think they're I guess mainly I'm... working on big updates for games that are already out. Like, there's a Resident Evil 7 Gold Edition announced this rotated DLC. There's uh, new characters coming out for. Street Fighter Five and Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Uh, and we also know about um, Resident Evil 2 Remake. They haven't said anything about the game in freaking ages. Right, yes. <laughs> but eventually, I assume, we'll hear more about that. You'd hope so. Okay, I think it might end the podcast here, but I highly, okay. highly, highly recommend this game. This game. <laughs> and I would also recommend... This game, the first game, like VC1 is out on PS4 and PC. If people haven't played it, if they are interested in strategy games, take it out. I think it's really good. Yeah, there'll be Steam sales soon, so this will be dirt cheap. I have, have have some footage of the original game on my channel, so I can I can link to that in the video description. But yeah, this game, really good, really good. I'm super excited about the VC4. Super excited. And this is the best character. Yes. She has bouncy hair. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye.